Hey everyone, it's Justin again. Thanks for joining me today. Some of you probably already know that I want to travel the world someday, but until that day comes, I'm learning as much as I can about all different countries right from home. I realized that I could discover all kinds of things by writing letters and getting letters back from people who live in different places all around the world. And here is a brand new letter I just received. It's from a kid who lives in the country of France. So stick around and let's get ready to explore life in a country far away as we present Let's Take a Journey, France. I'm so excited about this letter that I got today. It's from a kid, probably about your age, who lives in France. Let's take a look at our map and see where France is in relation to the United States. We're here in the United States, which is part of the continent of North America. France is across the ocean over here. It's part of the continent of Europe. France borders the Atlantic Ocean to the north and the Mediterranean Sea to the south. Oh, I bet there are some beautiful beaches there. So, let's get to it and hear what our new friend from France has to say. Bonjour, Justin. My name is Camille. Bonjour is how we say hello in France. Well, bonjour, Camille. Hello. I am so happy to share your letter with everyone. And there's our first word in French. Bonjour. Hello. I live in France. My city is nice. Oh, Camille, that's great that your city's nice. I wonder what its name is. You say the name of my city like this, Nice. Oh, Nice, France. I get it. It's spelled like the word nice, but it's pronounced Nice. Here's Camille's city on our map, Nice. Nice is a beautiful city. It's very sunny and hot here. I live near the Mediterranean Sea, so we swim there to cool off. I am eight years old. I live in an apartment with my mother, father, and little sister, Sylvie. My building is hard to see here. It's way back on the hill. This is my little sister, Sylvie, running with our dogs. Their names are Jade and Gabriel. Hi, everybody. I mean, bonjour, everybody. I could see the Mediterranean Sea from my window. Do you live near the ocean or a lake or maybe a river? It might be fun to take a look at a map of your city or state and see what bodies of water are near you. You might find some that you didn't even know were there. Okay, back to the letter. I like school, even though I look very serious here. I study math, phys ed, reading, writing, and English. I love the classes in Découverte du Monde. Découverte du Monde? That means discovery of the world. It includes science, social studies, and history, too. But do you know what my favorite subject is? It's writing. We write in cursive and practice every day. Wow, this looks quite different from the way we write cursive in the States. It's kind of fancy. It says... Dear Justin, thank you for writing to me. I hope to meet you one day, your friend Camille. Aw, are you gonna learn how to write in cursive? Maybe you already know how. Let's see what else Camille says about school. You can see my teacher in this picture. Her name is Madame Sophie, but we call her maîtresse. That means teacher in French. Here I am with my best friend Delphine. We are outside of my school. We have a lot of fun together. These are my best friends, Delphine, Theo, Louise, Mathieu, and me. Guess what? We don't have school on Wednesdays. Instead, my city has special activities for us to do, like music and dance classes and cooking classes. I'm pretty good at dancing. That's because I practice a lot. I'm also learning martial arts. We play sports, too. I won this race. Nice going, Camille. Or should I say, nice going. This summer, my family is going to Italy for our vacation. 
Nice is not far from Italy. We're going with my aunt and uncle. Let's take a look at our handy dandy map again. Besides bordering the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, France has several other countries along its borders too. Here's Italy, where Camille goes on vacation. It does look pretty close to Nice. My mom and dad love to travel. My mother works as a travel agent in Nice, so we get to go to lots of fun places. My dad works as an artist. He helps plan and set up museum exhibits. They share an office when they work from home. Sometimes my parents are very silly. Speaking of museums, Nice has several wonderful art museums. Art is very important to the people of France. France's capital city of Paris is home to the biggest art museum in the world. It's called the Louvre. People from all around the world visit the Louvre to see beautiful artwork, including one of the most famous paintings in the world, the Mona Lisa. Have you ever been to an art museum? To me, they're magical places where I could spend hours and hours looking at all the pictures and sculptures. <laughs> when you visit France, you have to see the Eiffel Tower. It's in Paris. And you'll love the fields of lavender in the region of Provence. Hmm. Wow, those are all lavender flowers. Ah, I can almost smell their luscious fragrance from here. So many awesome things to see in France. Museums, the Eiffel Tower, lavender fields, and I hear they have amazing food. Oh, here we are. Camille talks about food she likes. France is famous for good food. Both my parents love to cook. I eat the same thing for breakfast every morning. My mom makes crepes, which are like thin pancakes. Then I put chocolate hazelnut spread on it. Mm-mm-mm, so good. I love that too, but I put mine on toast. And sometimes I have bananas and strawberries and mm. Okay, back to the letter. I know you have French fries and French toast. I like them, but they're not actually French foods. France has great cheese. My mom goes into town to buy cheese at this little cheese shop. The word for cheese is fromage. Fromage. Can you say it? Fromage. We sound so French. She shops at this bakery every day, so we always have fresh bread. The French word for bread is pain. It looks like the English word pain, but it's pronounced pain. Here is a picture of Sylvie holding a long loaf of bread called a baguette. Mmm, nothing like some fresh, crusty bread and delicious cheese. Oh, I'm getting very hungry. As a treat, Mama buys gelato. It's like ice cream. It was invented in Italy, and since we're close to Italy, we eat a lot of it here in Nice. Oh, I've had gelato. It's really good. It's pretty much like ice cream, but there are a few differences. I'm not sure what the difference between ice cream and gelato is, but I can tell you, it's delicious. We're having my favorite salad for lunch today. It's a salad niçoise. It has green beans and tomatoes and eggs and tuna and olives. I like my salad with anchovies. Okay, okay, I know some of you are gonna ew the anchovies, a type of salty fish. I actually like them, especially on pizza. Raise your hand if you like anchovies too. Uh, well, apparently kids in France like them. Delphine just came over. We're gonna ride our bikes. I hope you learned a lot about France and my city of Nice. Here's how you say goodbye in French. Au revoir. Please write back soon. Your friend, Camille. Au revoir, Camille. Thank you for such a great letter. And I know I really enjoyed learning about your life in France. I hope you enjoyed our letter from Camille too. I wonder who my next letter will be from. Ready to stamp our passport? All right, until next time, friends, I will say goodbye. I mean, au revoir. And remember to always be clever. Hey.